There's an engine out there that mechanics call bulletproof. It didn't roar like a V8 or rev like a sports car. It just ran and ran and ran. Half a million miles, no problem. Decades of neglect, still running. This is the Chrysler Slant 6 225, and it might just be the most indestructible engine ever built. Today, we're discovering why this simple tilted engine outlasted machines that seem far superior. Our story begins in the late 1950s, when Chrysler Corporation faced a critical challenge. The automotive landscape was shifting beneath their feet, and they needed an engine that could power their compact cars while meeting increasingly demanding requirements. The company's engineers weren't just looking for more power. They needed an engine that was compact, fuel efficient, reliable, and affordable to manufacture. Most importantly, it had to fit under the low, sleek hoods that were becoming fashionable in the emerging compact car market. The solution came from a brilliant, unconventional idea. Why not tilt the entire engine? While other manufacturers were trying to make their inline-six engines shorter by reducing bore and stroke, Chrysler's team took a completely different approach. They realized that by tilting the engine block 30 degrees to the right, they could achieve the low hood line designers wanted while maintaining the inherent balance and smoothness of a straight-six configuration. This wasn't just an engineering compromise. It was an engineering breakthrough. The tilted design allowed the engine to breathe better, with the intake manifold positioned higher than the exhaust manifold, creating natural airflow advantages. The cooling system benefited too, as the tilted configuration improved coolant circulation and heat dissipation. Willem Wertmann, one of Chrysler's lead engineers, championed this innovative approach. The team knew they were onto something special when early prototypes demonstrated not just the compact dimensions they needed, but also exceptional durability characteristics that would define the engine's legacy. By 1960, the Slant 6 was ready for production, and automotive history was about to be quietly revolutionized by an engine that looked different, worked differently, and would prove to last longer than anyone initially imagined. Number two, a design like no other. What made the Slant 6 so special wasn't just its unusual angle, it was how that angle unlocked a cascade of engineering advantages that created an almost indestructible power plant. Let's journey into the mechanical heart of this remarkable engine and discover why its tilted design was pure genius. The 225 cubic inch displacement gave the engine its nickname, but the real magic happened in the details. The 30-degree tilt positioned the spark plugs on the high side of the combustion chambers, creating optimal flame propagation. This meant more complete fuel burning, better efficiency, and reduced carbon buildup. Factors that directly contributed to the engine's legendary longevity, the cooling system benefited enormously from the tilted design. Unlike conventional straight-six engines where coolant could become trapped in pockets, the Slant 6's angled configuration promoted natural circulation. Hot coolant rose more efficiently, cool coolant descended more readily, and the entire system operated with fewer hot spots that typically cause engine failures in other designs. Perhaps most ingeniously, the tilted block allowed for a unique intake manifold design that created natural fuel distribution advantages. The carburetor sat higher, Gravity helped fuel flow, and each cylinder received more consistent fuel delivery. This wasn't just about performance. It was about ensuring that each cylinder worked equally hard, preventing the uneven wear that destroys many engines over time. The engine's robust bottom end featured a forged steel crankshaft running in seven main bearings, more than many V8 engines of the era. The connecting rods were substantial, the pistons were designed for longevity rather than maximum performance, and every component was engineered with durability as the primary goal. This wasn't an engine built to impress at a car show. It was an engine built to run for decades without complaint, and that philosophy permeated every bolt and bearing. Number three, built to endure. Stories of Slant 6 endurance spread like mechanical folklore throughout the automotive world. And these weren't just tales. 
They were documented realities that established the engine's reputation for virtual immortality. Understanding how this reputation developed reveals the true character of Chrysler's tilted masterpiece. The engine's legendary durability stemmed from conservative engineering choices that prioritized longevity over peak performance. While competitors chased higher horsepower numbers, Chrysler's engineers designed the Slant 6 to operate well within its mechanical limits. The compression ratio was moderate, the valve train was simple and robust, and the oiling system was designed to lubricate every critical component generously, even under extreme conditions. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Slant 6 was its tolerance for neglect. While other engines required meticulous maintenance to survive, the 225 seemed to thrive even when owners forgot oil changes, ignored cooling system maintenance, or pushed the engine far beyond recommended service intervals. This wasn't because Chrysler encouraged poor maintenance. It was because the engine was so fundamentally sound that it could compensate for human neglect. The engine's ability to run on lower quality fuels also contributed to its reputation. During the fuel crises of the 1970s, when gasoline quality varied dramatically, the Slant 6 continued running smoothly while more sensitive engines struggled with poor fuel. Its combustion chambers were designed to handle variations in octane rating, and the simple carburetion system could adapt to different fuel formulations without major issues. Fleet operators began to notice something extraordinary. Vehicles equipped with Slant 6 engines were lasting significantly longer than comparable vehicles with other power plants. Taxi companies, delivery services, and government fleets started specifically requesting Slant 6 powered vehicles because the total cost of ownership was dramatically lower. Word spread throughout the automotive industry that Chrysler had created something special, an engine that seemed to defy the normal rules of mechanical wear and failure. Number four, everyday hero. The true measure of any engine isn't found in racing victories or magazine reviews. It's discovered in the real world where ordinary people depend on their vehicles every single day. The Slant 6 became the unsung hero of countless working vehicles. And the stories of its service read like mechanical legends that continue to inspire automotive enthusiasts worldwide. Taxi fleets embraced the Slant 6 with enthusiasm that bordered on devotion. In cities across America and beyond, cab companies discovered that Plymouth Valiants and Dodge Darts equipped with the 225 could accumulate massive mileage with minimal major repairs. Stories emerged of taxi cabs surpassing 300,000, 400,000, and even 500,000 miles on their original engines numbers that seemed impossible with other power plants of the era. The engine's reputation spread to commercial applications where reliability meant the difference between profit and loss. Delivery trucks, service vehicles, and light commercial haulers powered by the Slant 6 became the backbone of small businesses across multiple continents. The engine's modest power output was perfectly matched to these applications. It provided sufficient performance while prioritizing the durability that commercial operators desperately needed. Perhaps most remarkably, the Slant 6 earned a reputation for surviving extreme neglect that would destroy other engines. Mechanics tell stories of engines that ran for years with severely overdue oil changes, cracked radiators, and maintenance schedules that existed only in theory. While no engine should be treated this way, the Slant 6's ability to continue operating under such conditions became part of its legend. Rural areas particularly embraced the engine because local mechanics could service it easily, parts were readily available, and the simple design meant that even basic repairs could extend the engine's life substantially. Farm trucks, utility vehicles, and work cars powered by the 225 became fixtures in communities worldwide quietly performing essential transportation duties year after year, decade after decade, with a reliability that seemed almost supernatural to those who experienced it firsthand. Number five, comparing the competition. To understand why the Slant 6 achieved legendary status, we must examine how it compared to its contemporaries and why it consistently outlasted engines 
that appeared superior on paper. This comparison reveals the fundamental philosophy differences that made Chrysler's Tilted 6 so remarkably durable. General Motors offered their own inline-six engines during the same era, but these power plants were designed with different priorities. GM's engines often featured higher compression ratios and more aggressive tuning to achieve better performance numbers. But these characteristics came at the cost of long-term durability. The Slant 6's conservative approach meant it rarely won performance comparisons, but it consistently won longevity contests. Ford's inline-six engines, while competent, suffered from some fundamental design limitations that the Slant 6 avoided. Ford's engines were more sensitive to cooling system problems, less tolerant of poor fuel quality, and required more precise maintenance to achieve maximum lifespan. The Slant 6's tilted design provided inherent advantages in cooling and fuel distribution that Ford's conventional designs couldn't match. International competitors also struggled to match the Slant 6's combination of simplicity and durability. European engines of the era often featured more sophisticated designs with overhead camshafts and complex valve trains. But these advanced features introduced additional failure points. The Slant 6's pushrod design was considered old-fashioned by some, but it eliminated many potential problems that plagued more complex engines. The key difference lay in engineering philosophy. While competitors focused on extracting maximum performance from their engines, Chrysler's engineers prioritized creating an engine that would continue operating reliably for decades. This meant accepting lower peak horsepower numbers in exchange for exceptional durability, better fuel economy, and reduced maintenance requirements. This conservative approach proved prophetic. As the automotive industry faced increasing pressure for improved reliability and fuel efficiency, the Slant 6's fundamental design principles looked increasingly wise. While other manufacturers struggled to improve their engine's durability, Chrysler already had an engine that embodied the reliability that consumers were beginning to demand. Number 6. The Global Footprint The Slant 6's reputation for reliability quickly transcended national boundaries, and the engine found homes and vehicles around the world, adapting to different climates, fuel qualities, and operating conditions with remarkable success. This global adoption revealed the universal appeal of robust, dependable engineering. Chrysler's international operations embraced the Slant 6 enthusiastically, recognizing that its durability characteristics were even more valuable in markets where sophisticated service networks were limited. In Australia, the engine powered countless utility vehicles and family cars across vast distances and harsh conditions. Australian mechanics developed particular appreciation for the engine's ability to operate reliably in extreme heat and dusty conditions that challenge other power plants. South American markets also embraced the Slant 6, where it powered everything from taxis in Buenos Aires to commercial vehicles traversing the challenging terrain of the Andes. The engine's tolerance for varying fuel quality proved invaluable in markets where gasoline specifications were less consistent than in North America. Local mechanics learned to service the engine easily, and parts availability remained good even in remote locations. In some markets, the Slant 6 received modifications to suit local conditions and requirements. Compression ratios were sometimes adjusted for different fuel qualities, cooling systems were enhanced for tropical climates, and carburetion was modified for altitude variations. These adaptations demonstrated the engine's fundamental flexibility and robust design margins. The engine's global success also contributed to its legendary status. Stories of Slant 6 reliability emerged from every continent where the engine operated, creating an international community of enthusiasts who shared experiences and knowledge. This global perspective reinforced the engine's reputation and provided countless examples of its exceptional durability under diverse operating conditions. Perhaps most significantly, the engine's international success proved that reliable engineering transcends cultural and geographical boundaries. Whether powering a taxi in New York, a utility vehicle in Sydney, or a commercial truck in Sao Paulo, 
the Slant 6 consistently delivered the dependable service that made it legendary. Number seven, the fade out. Despite its legendary reliability and global success, the Slant 6's production run eventually came to an end. Not because the engine failed, but because the automotive industry's priorities shifted in directions that made this durable power plant seem obsolete. Understanding why Chrysler abandoned their most reliable engine reveals the complex challenges facing automotive manufacturers in a rapidly changing world. The 1970s brought new regulatory pressures that challenged all automotive manufacturers. Emission standards were tightening rapidly, and the Slant 6's simple design, while excellent for durability, was less adaptable to complex pollution control systems. More sophisticated engines with overhead cam shafts and advanced fuel injection systems could more easily meet stringent emissions requirements, even if they weren't as inherently durable. Fuel economy became another critical factor as gasoline prices soared during the energy crises of the 1970s. While the Slant 6 was reasonably efficient for its era, newer engine designs with better combustion chamber configurations and more precise fuel metering could achieve superior fuel economy numbers that increasingly mattered to consumers and regulators. Consumer preferences were also evolving. Buyers began demanding smoother, quieter engines with better power to weight ratios. The Slant 6's agricultural character, while beloved by those who appreciated its reliability, seemed crude compared to more refined power plants that offered better noise, vibration, and harshness characteristics. Manufacturing economics played a role as well. Chrysler needed to consolidate their engine production to remain competitive, and the Slant 6's unique tilted design required dedicated manufacturing equipment that couldn't be easily adapted for other engines. More conventional engine designs offered greater production flexibility and economies of scale. By 1987, Chrysler had phased out the Slant 6 in favor of more modern engines that better met contemporary requirements. The decision wasn't based on any failure of the 225. It was a strategic choice to focus resources on power plants that could better serve the company's future needs. The irony wasn't lost on many observers. Chrysler's most reliable engine was discontinued while far less durable power plants continued in production. And that's the incredible story of the Slan 6 225, an engine that proved durability beats flashiness every time. What do you think? Have you ever owned or worked on one of these legendary engines? I'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.